Let's get started working on the scale, making change up to $20. Matilda purchases a hat that costs 73 cents. Did Matilda receive the proper amount of change below if she paid 95 cents? So there's a few steps that we need to do here. First, we need to figure out how much change Matilda should have received. And once we find that out, then we can see if the coins here match that amount. Now, when we're finding change, that means we need to find the difference between how much Matilda paid and how much it costs. When we find the difference, that's talking about subtraction. So the first step is going to be to subtract how much we paid minus the cost of the item. So we're going to do 95 cents minus 73 cents. Now, just as a reminder, when you do subtraction with decimals, you need to make sure that your decimal place is lined up, and so are all of your different place values. The first thing we're going to do is 5 minus 3, which is 2. 9 minus 7 is so 2. So she should have received 22 cents back in change. So that was our first step. Now we need to find if this amount of change is equal to 22 cents. So we're going to have to now add all these together. I see one quarter. A quarter is worth 25 cents. And we have four pennies. Pennies are worth one cent. Now we need to add all that together to see if it equals 22 cents. 25 cents for the quarter plus all the pennies together is four cents. That equals 29 cents. So she was not given the correct amount of change. You pay 67 cents to buy an energy drink costing 30 cents. You receive the following change. Is this the correct amount of change? So we're going to do the amount that we paid, 67 cents, and find the difference between how much it costs by subtracting 30 cents. This will equal 37 cents. So in order for this to be the correct amount of change, it needs to equal 37 cents when we add it together. We have a quarter worth 25 cents. We have a dime worth 10 cents. And we have four pennies that are each worth one cent. So we've got 25 plus 10 plus 4 pennies gives us 4 cents. So all together we're going to have 39 cents. That is not the same as the 37 cents that we should have received. So we did not receive the correct amount. Kaden purchases a shirt that costs 55 cents. Did Kaden receive the proper amount of change below if he paid 76 cents? We do the amount that Kaden paid minus how much it costs to find the difference. And the difference should be 21 cents. He received a quarter back. And a quarter is worth 25 cents. And that is not the same. So Caden did not receive the proper amount of change. If you pay 80 cents to buy some school supplies costing 18 cents and you receive the following change, is this the correct amount? The amount that we paid is 80 cents minus the cost, which was 18 cents, 
I have to borrow from this 8, because I can't do 0 minus 8. I get 2. I should receive 62 cents back. I see a quarter and another quarter that are both worth 25. So together, that is worth 50 cents. And I have four pennies that are each worth one. So if I add all of that together, I get 54 cents. And that does not equal the 62 cents that we should have received. Alexa purchases a shirt that costs 55 cents. Did Alexa receive the proper amount of change below if she paid 96 cents? We're going to do 96 cents. Find the difference between what it costs of 55 cents. See how much change she should have received. She should have received 41 cents. So it looks like we've got a quarter worth 25. We've got a dime worth 10 and another dime worth 10. Plus we've got three pennies that are each worth the one cent. So we've got 25 plus 20 cents for those two dimes plus three pennies. Five plus three is eight and two plus two is four. And that's equal to 48 cents, which is not the same as 41 cents. Benjamin purchases a hat that costs 76 cents. Did Benjamin receive the proper amount of change if he paid 90 cents? 90 cents minus 76 cents. should be 14 cents. He received a dime and a dime is worth 10 cents and that is not the same as 14 cents. If you pay 86 cents to buy some cough drops costing 12 cents and you receive the following change, is this the correct amount? 86 cents minus 12 cents is equal to 74 cents. I see two quarters and both of those quarters are worth 25 cents each. So together they're worth 50. I see a dime which is worth 10 cents. We have a nickel which is worth five cents. And we have four pennies, and those are all worth one cent. So together they will be worth four cents. If we add all that together, we have 69 cents. So almost 74, but not quite. So it is not the correct amount of change. You pay 39 cents to buy a pickle, costing 15 cents. You receive the following change. Is this the correct amount? 39 cents minus 15 cents is equal to 24 cents. See a quarter worth 25 and four pennies that are each worth one. And the 25 plus those four pennies is 29 cents, which is more than 24 cents. So it is not the correct amount. You pay 61 cents to buy an energy drink costing 10 cents. You receive the following amount of change. Is this correct? 
61 cents minus 10 cents is 51 cents. I have a quarter worth 25. I have two dimes that are each worth 10. And I have a penny, which is worth one. 25 plus 20 for the two dimes plus one is equal to 46 cents, which is not the same as 51 cents. You pay 51 cents to buy a chocolate bar costing 50 cents. You receive the following change. Is this correct? Well, 51 cents minus 50 cents is only one cent. And guess what? I already see four pennies, which is gonna be more than one cent. So I can already tell that this amount of change is way more than one cent. So our answer is no. It is not the correct amount.